So the next feature about ZFS I'm going to demonstrate is how we can send um, data sets as streams. We can send and receive data sets as streams. What does this mean? Well, it means that the whole data set can be sent over a wire, for example, or it can be stored to a file or sent to another block device to be stored as a file. Um, just basically manipulated in any way you want as a, uh, a stream of data as, to, as opposed to an explicit block device. Um, so the streams rely on taking a snapshot of the um, data set because obviously if a data set is in use it's going to be changing. So by creating a snapshot we, we fix the um, moment in time um, that the file system is in at the time we take the snapshot. Um, so obviously if it's a uh, file system is in use you need to ensure that it's stable and static if we take the snapshot. And once we've taken the snapshot it's quite easy just to send the data to wherever we want to send it to. And for a first example what I'm going to do is use ZFS and send is the command to send the stream, specify the pool, the um, um, data set and then the snapshot name that we want to send. And I'm going to send this just to a plain file. So as it comes out um, as all Unix commands to standard out I'm just going to redirect this to a file and I'll call it something like test.test.dataset .test .test, something like that let's call it test-test -test. so that's now reading in the dataset and uh, yeah reading in from the dataset and writing it to the file so if we now look at the disk you can see it's created a file and it's 581 meg it's roughly the size of the um, partition that's in use so it looks like maybe there's some overhead there um, one thing to bear in mind is that uh, streams are actually sent um, uncompressed so if you have un if you have compressed blocks, they are actually streamed uncompressed. So that's something to bear in mind. And then to um, do something with this file that we've created, we can use the zfs receive command. And um, again, you just supply the pool that you want to import it in. So this could be a completely different pool. Um, you know, it could be test two for example, it doesn't have to be the same pool. It might even be a pool on a completely different machine, which is probably the main reason you'd use this to transfer a data set to another system. But you specify the pool um, and the data set you want to import it to. So I want to call this test two. And you can optionally supply a snapshot. If you don't supply a snapshot, it will just create a snapshot with the name that was used um, from, the, from the time of the snapshot that the stream was created from. So I'll just run that. Oh, nah. might help if I actually send something to the command. So I'll just do cat the name of the file and I'll pipe that into, pipe that into ZFS. So that's now creating a new um, data set called um, test2 and it will be a, an exact copy obviously of the test data set because that's where the stream came from and there you go it's it's finished so let's take a look and you can see we've got a test2 data set and you can see also that it's created a snapshot when it created this data set and it's the same as before. Like I said, you can actually specify the snapshot when you receive the data stream. 
um, if you wish it to be called something else. And if we look at test, you can see not only has it copied the test too, but it's also copied the permissions of it as well. And there's test, the original, and there's test 2, which is the copy. And you can see the actual raw data is the same as well, 539, 539. You can also send and receive in one command. Um, if you're duplicating something, maybe on the same machine. So we could do send test test at snapshot2 and we can pipe that directly into a ZFS receive command um, and we can receive test struct test and I'll rename this one as snap4 just to show that it's a little bit different and you can name the snapshots as you wish. Um, test, test snapshot 2 oh of course yeah it should be snapshot 3 ok yeah I need to specify a new data set of course I'll call this test 3 so this is sending the data set test and receiving it into test 3 all in one hit so this might take a little bit longer being as it's doing reads and writes on the same devices so I'll just give it a minute or two um, while that's doing I can say one useful way of using this is to combine it with SSH to send um, data sets to remote machines or even receive them from remote machines so you do something like um, ZFS send the details and you pipe that through SSH with the appropriate parameters and you give it the, the ZFS receive command on the remote computer um, and it will prompt you for the password obviously of the remote machine and um, that's how you can send it remotely so that can be really useful if you've got um, especially you've got a fast link we can send like big data sets over so if I do ZFS list again you can see we've got another copy of it 539 meg and again there's a new copy called test 3 um, what I'm going to do I'm going to see if I can actually send this remotely but within this machine if you like so let's do ZFS send I'll record command pipe it through SSH and I want to do um, local host and I want to receive it as 4 and I won't bother renaming the snapshot this time So I've never connected to this machine before, so it's prompting me as to do I really want to connect to it. So I'll just type the password in for root, and although you can't see it, it's actually working. The hard disk light is on, um, so this should be no slower in theory than the previous copy that I did. So effectively what I'm doing is I'm sending the snapshot from this machine to a remote machine called localhost well of course you know localhost is really the same machine that we're on but this could be a remote machine and um, I'm receiving it there on, on its ZFS system and obviously this could be a completely different pool and I might want to call it a completely different um, data set as well and that's done and as you can see it's worked so that's been transmitted via SSH locally onto this machine.